Here we are looking at the courtyard scene so far in the last video. I modeled the garbage can and I talked about the depth of those things, but anyways. All right, so what I said I was going to do was I was going to get into this modular approach to modeling. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's see what I've got here. Um, got that piece. You know what I might do is just select something here that I can my 3d cursor close to there and get a sense of this all right so i'm going to bring in a plane rotate x 90 and bring that out and decide how big of a piece i want to use now if i had that i think what i'll do is i'll bring it down a little bit more maybe i'll use something around that size and so what i want to do is create a spot for the window so I'm drop an edge loop in there and split it and let's say I had let's say I had that well I'll show you how we'll do this and if I change my mind about it I will I will do that I want it sort of I don't want it exactly square it's close to square so I'd have bricks around there so I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to extrude it in and I'll delete that face. Is there any reason why I keep it? Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and let's let's build the window part in there. So let's just focus on that. And look from the side or front, whatever it is. And let's go ahead and do that. So maybe I'll take that edge there. Shift D. Bring it down. P to break it out. And I'll start making the... Uh, the frame for this thing uh, let's see uh, actually I changed my mind let's do this let's grab all of these edges all the way around uh, shift D we'll do that scale it in a little bit P to break it out and I'm going to F uh, to fill it pull it back a little bit so the frame is going to be like that so I'm going to press I to inset and come in like this and I'll get rid of that face all right so now I'm going to give this some thickness just come back like that I can get rid of those back faces so that's going to be the general frame now do I want to curve any of this I sort of do so let's let's have a look at maybe doing that uh, actually before I do that let's take this piece and we'll use that to make the cross pieces let's bring that down and P to break it out we'll just leave it there so what I'm I was thinking I would do was maybe shift alt and click these edges uh, I just want to see what it would be like if I do the frame a little bit curved but I don't curve this um, if that would look okay so not too much three I might go for five in there and that might be more than I wanted but I think I still think it could potentially be okay so I'm going to uh, bevel that one with just with three. Uh, actually, before I do that, uh, I want to do one more thing. I want to take this. I want this to be like a sort of a double layer. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to press E and S and come in. Let's look from there and make sure they're relatively even. I'm going to scale in the X a bit. And then I'm going to come back one more time. So I have this double double layer and then I can take the whole thing and just pull it up just a little bit just so it's sunk in there a bit and then I will bevel this edge and this edge control B with three and I'll also bevel this edge just a little bit like that so I can shade uh, shade smooth but let's just uh, shift H and focus on this and um, you know just for shading purposes I may bevel that it, it ends up being hidden and not necessary let's alt recalculate outside and alt H bring that back so we're gonna focus again on just those two things though ah no not quite we need this cross piece as well so we'll focus on those okay so now this guy I'm going to just give it some thickness like that and then I will get rid of that one and this one and this one I won't need any of those and I'm going to bevel there 
Control B and pull, and I want three. So two, three. Okay, and uh, maybe I'll scale in the Y a bit. And uh, I just want that on that piece there, but not there. We'll put it a little bit more central. Uh, what do I want? I want four. All right, I'm going to shift D, rotate Y 90 like that. I'll break it out for the time being, just a little bit easier. And I want to pull this one back just past the bevel. And we got that. So that's good. Go into wireframe and box select the top and the bottom. Scale these in the Z so it's not quite central. Okay. Not bad. So that's my general uh, frame and the things. And then we're going to need glass. Yeah, but instead of bringing in um, one plane, um, if I bring in four pieces, then when I do the texturing and substance painter, I can get dirt around this one here and this one. We treat them separately and I can even break some of them. So what I'll do is I'll bring in a plane and I'll make separate panes of glass for this. So pull that into about there and then scale in the Z and in the X and I'm just going to look around the back I just want it relatively even it doesn't have to be perfect so what's a control one just to see yeah it's placed okay so shifty to duplicate that I want another piece there take both of them and two more pieces down here ah okay well this will help me get things centered I think I put that there I can now come back to this one pull it down to there and then I can just take these and, and bring these down so that they're underneath and these so that they are there all right so that's my window piece now I'm going to do a little bit more work we're going to I think I'm going to um yeah i'm going to put another piece down here so let's do that shift d to duplicate pull that out p to break it out and i'll come in here and i'm going to get rid of the extra vertices that i don't need so i'm going to dissolve those and i want a concrete piece underneath here so I'll take that and extrude it back i'll get rid of that and this piece is going to come up here about where there, there, maybe underneath. I'll scale that in the X though. Just something like that to be underneath there. All right, so I got rid of the back. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bevel this by hand. Just a little bit of a curve there. Okay, and here, and maybe I can get away with three. Let's uh, recalculate outside and just have a thought about this i mean it looks relatively much like like a window so what i think i will do is i'm going to join these pieces together i'm going to join everything really together and so it's just one unit like that and then i just i'm going to try let, let's go ahead and try um well we could do it with the ray for the moment to get a sense of this all right, you see that? Uh, let's turn that off. Actually, let's let's come back to to this, and let's imagine that um, that this was the the piece. And I'll uh, let's see. Let's let's hide uh, that and that and that, and let's hide those for now. Oops. All right, so let's take this. And the way I would really do this is I would turn on snap to, I'll try snap to edge and we'll see. So let's do just duplicate that, slide it over and um, hover my mouse over there. And that goes on there. Uh, you would really have to join them and, and merge the vertices, but uh, but for now, I could do it this way. And snap 
Actually, you know what? Maybe I will use a ray uh, just for now. And uh, I can do it pretty easily. So imagine we had that. And actually, I'm going to slide it down here. And maybe I would even, uh, let's take this and bring it up. And let's see if I can actually snap this. Okay. So that's how I could do that pretty easily. Let's double check that. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of that array for now. And I'm going to take, let's say we work on this one. And I want to do another style of window, so let's just focus on those. And let's take this one, and let's do it this way, actually. Let's uh, duplicate this and snap it and take these. And let's uh, try this. We'll merge by distance. Okay, I think two separate things. So I have to join them. Okay, as soon as I did that, I think it probably merged them. No, I got rid of a few still. And what I want to do here is I'm going to get rid of uh, some of this stuff here and make a longer window. I'm just not quite sure how long I want it, so bear with me for the moment. Get rid of that piece. And I'm going to get rid of this and this. And what, we got something in there still. Okay, yeah, because that extends back. Okay. Let me just think about this. Okay, let's do this. Let's separate out a lot of this for the moment. Um, and we'll get the window size that I want. Okay, so that's all of the window, I think. Let's break that out. And let's take that. Do I have an extra? I have something else in there. Okay, let's just uh, focus. Oh, there's the window. Okay. I'm going to hide, hide the window. All right, this piece here. Yeah, we're going to... Is there a bevel on that? No, there is no bevel. I'm going to get rid of that face for now. In fact, I think I'll get rid of all the internal faces for now. Just make it a little easier for me. And then I can uh, extrude those back afterwards. I'll get rid of that. I'll leave that piece. I can extend that down. Let's get rid of these. Okay, because we're not going to use those. All right, Alt H. Let's uh, or uh, where is it? Slash Alt H. Where's my window? Ah, there we go. All right. So, uh, how long do I want that? I could try it that long. So let's just go in here and grab this and drag it down and decide if that's a little crazy. So double this size. Would that be okay? Let's come in here and uh, grab this piece here, Control L. I'm going to break it out and then I'm going to array it and uh, get a sense of, of the size. I think I want it four. So I think what I would need to do is, let's see if I do five. Move it back. And that could be all right as well. I'll come back to that in a second. I'm not certain that I would want this piece here. Let's uh, control plus a couple of times. Control minus. Let's see if I pull that. Am I all good? Okay. And let's just pull it past here a little bit. Okay. And now this stuff here. What do I got going on? Okay, let's get rid of those. 
and that's that piece there. I'm going to look on the back, and I'm going to just organize it. We'll do both of them at the same time. Okay, so we got that. So I should be able to just copy those. Oh, it's not quite the same size, or is it? Let's see. Let's put that uh, there. Scale in the X. So that's right for that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to keep going along here and we'll scale in the X as necessary. They don't have to be perfect. Shift D. There's another one. And the last one looks a little small. I don't think anyone's taken out their measuring tape. another couple of uh, little adjustments to get a little bit better so what I want to do is I want to join all this up again okay so this this I'm going to apply that array and uh, let's grab this and this and join it. This and this will join all that stuff. Uh, let's make sure we got all the all the pieces of glass here. Let's see what we've got and what we don't have. All right, okay, so what I'm missing is this sort of inset part. So let's go ahead and do that. And um, I can just need to extrude and pull that in. And we have it. Okay, let's select it, Alt N, recalculate outside. Ah, we're gonna have to flip some of those, those uh, windows yeah okay that's all right we can do that easily so we'll select all these red ones okay and control n uh, sorry alt n and flip so we got that so at this point i should be able to take this let's go into edit mode shift d to duplicate and i should be able to snap those together and I should be able to take this one in edit mode and snap that. Okay, uh, I'm going to do it to vertex. There we go, it snaps a bit better. Let's uh, try this again and make sure that, see if four line up pretty good. Not that I would have it in this orientation, but that looks like it joins up pretty good. So we have this long window and we have these short windows all right and that's how I would uh, build that up there would also be a section below in fact I think I'm going to do that uh, as well and what I'm talking about is the following I'm going to take this piece here shifty P to break it out for now come in and get rid of these uh, dissolve vertices. I'll come up a little ways, not too much. This one, 
I'll extrude back a little ways. We'll get rid of that back face. I want to take this and and um, and then bring it out and snap it to there. So there's one other piece here. I'll get rid of that face and that face and put a little bit of a bevel on here with three. All right, so I'm gonna come back in here and we select a little bit of these three and control L. Mm. All right, well, I'm gonna to have to do it, get a little bit more of it in control L, X vertices. So now what I would do is, I just wanna think about, I think I want this a little bit longer. This would be like a major uh, concrete division line between all of them. I'm gonna join that and make sure we're all recalculated. Ah, oh, looks like my windows just flipped. They did. All right, one, two, three, four, all 10. Uh, flip, oh, these two, flip. So with that, I could then bring this over here. Let's go to one and snap to there and we could get this long line going across we'll take both of those bring them down snap to there so we could get that kind of a thing and this one maybe doesn't need that and it may not even need this bar I'm not sure all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here I want to, one more thing I want to do I want to get rid of all this stuff including that control L Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna get rid of that. So I got those two pieces there. And that doesn't have to be joined or anything. Okay, so those are two building blocks. I think I also want a plain piece with nothing on it in case I want a section of brick wall. So I'm going to just duplicate this one. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna get rid of a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's see. X vertices. Let's go into one and wireframe. See, I didn't get everything there. And control L. X vertices. Let's go back here. And we'll get rid of this, a piece of that, a piece of that. And control L. That. And then we'll come in here and, and get, grab these faces. And then I'll come in here and F to make a face. And then get rid of all these edges X, uh, dissolve edges so I have another piece that's the exact same width as that one and of course could snap you know and uh, we'd have uh, something different maybe I'll maybe I'll have the trim on it maybe I won't but any anyhow so I got those pieces and then what I'll do is I would also probably want another piece below or I could use this one you know potentially uh, I could take this and shift to duplicate it I'm just gonna bring it down and maybe I'll take this and say I want it just to be longer so I could do this and then um, I could just take this and snap it there And you know, that could be my stuff underneath. So I could take both of these now and shift the, take them and snap. And uh, once I merge those together, this could be concrete or, or something or you know, anything, door, anything I wanted to, to have. So I've got a number of pieces that I can use. All right, I'm going to give you one uh, look at what this texture might potentially look like and then I'll show you how how we'll create this so here you can see some brick texture um, it does tile but admittedly there's this stuff here that the repeat so I wouldn't necessarily do it like that this is just a quick test to show you but we'd have the window frame here we'd have the glass with some dirt this is just highly reflective we're not going to see inside it and I can break some of that glass we have the concrete sort of window sill underneath there, and we have that divider. And I just happen to do two rows, but you can see that this is very easily put together. And if I wanted to make it longer, I could just 
duplicate these or alt D if I prefer and snap them and now it's even longer all right so this is basically what the texture will probably look like I might do the bricks slightly different but then these were made in substance uh, painter um, but that's basically what I'm going to be going for. All right, and we'll probably do that. We may do that in the next video, or I may go on and make a few more modular pieces and some other assets in the courtyard, but we will eventually get here, and that's what it's going to look like to some extent, anyhow. All right, so thanks for watching so far. I hope you're enjoying the series. I know I, I am, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.